Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 in the little mini-series on the relationship between range, course and speed. Uh, in this one we suppose we already know the range to a ship and we know the speed of the ship, in this case 1.5 knots, but we don't know what course she's on. This is rather theoretical, you know, it doesn't really have much practical application because the thing is, if you take range the way I do here, just using a periscope, there's always going to be some error, and even a small error, say 50 meters, 20 meters even, uh, will throw you off. There are, of course, uh, techniques to figure out range more precisely, but I'll cover that some other time. At any rate, uh, when the mid mass, as you just saw, passed a bearing of 314 true, I started timing her. And why will be will become apparent later. I'm trying to arrange the ship here based on the little crane on the back of the ship because that corresponds with 3 centiradians nicely but here you see it's not quite sure what how high it is at that point might be 24 might be 25 I went with 25 actually which results in a distance of 3333 meters. I don't know why I put 3300 but well it doesn't matter so much. Alright, we're gonna pick her up again at some point in the future at a different relative bearing and see how long it took her to get to that bearing. Uh, I chose 309 because, well, of course, in between I need to grab more beer and cigarettes, so I took all the time in the world here. So you see, it took her 7 minutes and 22 seconds to arrive at that point. Now, we need to ask ourselves, how far can a ship travel in 7 minutes and 22 seconds when she's going 1.5 knots? The answer is actually 341.5 meters. Wolfpack does allow you to plug that in, but it's going to show 342 for some reason. Now, if we go to the point where we originally saw her and draw a circle, it means that the ship is now going to be either there, she can travel from that point to there, or, in the same time, she can travel to the other point. Now, we could already see from the angle on the bow that the ship was moving away from us. If you look at the distance between the two points, the point well, to the south is closer to us, the other point is further away, so she must be on that course, which in this case is about 250. Here comes the magic moment to see how far off we are. I'm just gonna hope I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna remove these circles for a second. You'll see why in a bit. And you'll see that even though we're quite close, we're still a bit off. Now, the reason for that, as I told you before, uh, is because our range measurement was slightly off. You'll see that if I draw a line on this course, from which we can derive where she actually was when we took range, when we plotted the first line, that if I now draw that 340, uh, what is it, 341 and a half meters, the circle will intersect her second line quite perfectly. So there you have it, although it's nice in theory, you know, it works. Practical applications are limitless, or uh, very limited, I should say, not limitless, very limited. But I hope this will help you at least understand the relationship between these three things a bit better than you already do. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys the next time. Bye bye.